DG Pitad, good morning. My name now Ordinary Ahmed Isa you did like for Human Re Rights Radio 101.1. Uh -huh. Good morning. Good morning. You did live for radio as me and you they talk now for the program yes. Bring It a Family. Yes. Yes. That mama where you talk say me then carry come. Where you yes. send the motor come, where they yes. carry her go your office. Yes. Where you by yourself you check her documents. Yes. You can't talk, say, uh, the only thing we remain now, now for her to bring her son will be the next of kin. Yes. This woman, the mama, we give her mm. transport, she travel, go home, go bring her son, come. Yes. Only for her to come back to your office. People from mm. your office no allow her climb upstairs. They say her son don't be over age. It makes she go look for another person way they younger than the your, uh, her son before she go claim her late husband's benefit. Okay, now, na police pension, Nabi? Na police pension. Yes, but once they reach 18, once they can reach 18, government no put it again. Now, when they under 18, we do take. But why would I not yes. announce and hear, make people hear? Announce waiting. Why would I not announce and when would I come on radio here? Make would I let people know, say, anybody when be say, you get next of kin. Pol for police pension, once, police, the, yes. once the nest of kin don't pass the age of 18, you know, mm. it will be nest of kin again. So okay. what, if, oh, I, what if the I person not only, only what if the person now only one child he get and the, the child don't pass 18 years? Now he say mm. the money don't enter one chance with that? No, they say the money don't enter one chance. When their husband for police died under section 5, Government is responsible for all the children till they reach the age of 18. So if you get other children way they under age of 18, they can claim. You know, we have to follow the law. Mm. Okay, now, I just mm. give you an example. Say, like, person will get only one child. Okay, she gets only one child. Now, I just give you an example. I never confirm. Let's assume yes. person will get only one child. And the child will be next of kin, come past 18. And if to say, this, since where this man die, government don't pay this money, this child for never, never reach 18. But at the delay where government delay, now I make the child pass 18. Which not, be say, maybe, not be say government delay, maybe they didn't come to claim on time. Madam, you una no but, come but, to claim on time. I, no, what I would say, let her come back. The director of police pension will look at her kid and the next of kin because they will interview the boy as well. Mm. Is she still in Abuja? She there here for studio with us. Now they cry when she carry from, uh, come from all the way from Ogoja be this. Okay, let her come back into the office so that she will meet with the police pension department people. They're not going to allow her to pass again because I'm now... I'm on my way to the office. Every, every pensioner is allowed to pass our gate. Our doors are open for all our pensioners. So please tell her to come. What is her name again? Remind me her name. Your Make name? I call her head. I'm on the road to the office now. Mm. Teresa Olofo. Her name now, Teresa Olofo. Then, there is a lot for yes, okay. Ma. Yes, ma. okay. Tell her to come in now and ask for uh, Madame uh, Angela. Madame Angela, yes, yeah. she is in charge of uh, walking verification. Madame, there is a lot for enter road, they begin the go pitat now. Then again, say, for me, they go say, those again, saying to all, okay, the nays have it. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, my president, the okay. executive secretary, uh, Pitad. <laughs> Yes. Thank, thank you very you. much. Thank you. <laughs> if they don't do you well, madam, come back and make we talk them. Yes. Thank you. Hambe <laughs> lambe. My brothers, my sisters, if I look them now and see them done, they give us signal. Signal to do it. In signal, make we continue to the Vano they go. Any other update? That is scaffold. Any other update? I sent you with person yesterday. Son. Not on air, sir. Give us on air. What you happen? The matter is that the the police told the Mr. Matthew Awolu.
to be coming uh, to report to their office every two weeks. Mm -hmm. Now he's supposed to report on the on on, Mon on Tuesday, mm -hmm. but because of pub on Monday because of public holiday. Mm -hmm. Then it now came on Wednesday, mm -hmm. and that Wednesday was not the date he's supposed to come. Mm -hmm. So he came and signed that he, as reported as had assigned. Mm -hmm. Then he left. Mm -hmm. So now that the, the we now, this uh, madam now called that Mr. Wulu now called and asked uh, what time is the appointment. Mm -hmm. She they now told told her that the man came yesterday mm -hmm. and he has gone back mm -hmm. and is to report back in two weeks time mm -hmm. though they now say okay so when we now went there we are we understand what is happening mm. now the other demand that the the man in charge mm. gave was that action must commence immediately okay so thank that's you. the report sir. Uh -huh. update today be that we, we, you, we, so, we, the whole world now they follow this uh, joy madam joy awolu matter yes sir if we talk say we no go give update on air it will be like say we don't compromise okay sir thank you very much thank you sir. my brothers my sisters if i look time now and time don't they give a signal signal to do it in signal make we continue to the banner they go pass the microphone pass the microphone yes Akaramakala, any update from your side? Yes, my ordinary president. That Baba, we come from uh, Elder Silas. We come from River State. We say in Sun, go uh, go do one work for one company. Where they know Q and Q, Q, and Q where they know Siam. Mm -hmm. So where you say more, go see the first PRO. Mm -hmm. So we will reach there. We will wait for him for almost two hours before income free come come get chance come. He apologized to the Baba, made Baba. No vest with us and I walk. You know, so. say if us PR or work, no, uh, yes, no sir. day easy. Yes, sir. Now you be they in charge of uh, the image of the police, police. Uh, the whole nation. Yes, sir. You understand? We apologize so, to the Baba uh, where well. Mm -hmm. So Nadia, we they you can't call the CP, River State. Mm -hmm. Tell us, they see what they happen because he tell the Baba say Nadia they will start the investigation from first. Mm -hmm. And that time when the thing happened, nobody the CP where they now day. Mm -hmm. So now make he go back. Give, if you can't give an appointment, make it this, making the con today. Okay. If you come, then make in start investigation so that they will know how far then before they will report back to force okay. report. Hello, good morning. Good morning, my ordinary president. Now, who me and I'm the Vano? Where are you the Vano from? Now, Baba is the Vano from Germany, sir. From Germany. Yes, sir. How are our transmission over there for Germany? You declare now. So thank you very much. I've been promised when I say we they work on the uh, technical issues where we the experience. Now you can see that we are truly redefining broadcasting. We they go across the that's border. That's you. Amen. Uh, Amen. Baba Easy, about yes. that your case, how far? Any any update about your matter where you carry come? No, they know where they are looking again for that body. So please come call me for here. Mm -hmm. So I call if you make somebody maybe in Nigeria come meet them for office. Mm -hmm. And I call Madam Andrea. Mm -hmm. So if you make I give and the woman number. Mm -hmm. I can't give and the number. Mm -hmm. So, uh, if I call and delay, I call the time, call them. Every day I call them, you will tell me, say, uh, make a call and delay. I say, you know, uh, I don't know. Okay, Madam Andrea, I beg, I wait, beg, wait, me, wait, me, wait, 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 for this matter. I don't say now. Wait, make we hear from Madam Andrea. Madam Andrea, yes, my you don't give person. you the police officer number. Yes, sir. Okay, you don't contact the police officer. I don't contact about two of them that are in charge, mm -hmm. and I don't go there for CID mm -hmm. severally. Mm -hmm. So by the time I go, they insisted that the man himself, the complainant himself, now he they won't see. Now he go take him out, chop on you. I said, okay, let's call him. Not be the same them talk, say make the same person exactly. for, uh, for Nigeria. Now so I tell them, mm -hmm. now a lady and a man mm -hmm. be the IPOs. Mm -hmm. And I tell them, say, now I ask the man to send somebody when they're Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Now, now they talk, say make the man come. How you want to come? I said, okay, let's call the, make I call the wife. Make the wife come when they for Lagos. Make her easy send me the wife number when they Lagos. Make he come since they send her the man person they want. 
They said no, except the man. So me, I keep calling them up and down. They know. But you anything. know, say now, now I just they hear this update from you, ba. Mother is, I, I don't tell you since when we did the other side. Say. You know, no, no sign my way you go send me. I no go give you update, sir. Say. Yes. The say man this one call you. <laughs> say make you go represent them for for police. You go police. Yes, sir. And uh, the police come to talk say. Uh, you no go represent them, then they insist, say, make the complainant come back himself. Yes, um, I know we won't talk with you, talk that day as you respond. As I tell you, I don't take waka. It can't be like, say, mad thing come to get a CB for your body. You say, make the, if they don't want the wife, make it come. Make the man anytime when income, now make it come follow up. Baba, is it, you they here waiting, waiting, uh, be the update from Madame Andra? And yes, sir. Okay, so what thing we go do now? Be say, I go collect the number of the police officers. Uh, I go call them by myself. Like mm -hmm. you, you now you did Germany now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now to come back to uh, to Nigeria because of this matter, you no go day easy. Um, you know, sir, I that I not be for the old place. No problem. No problem. No problem. I go. I go. I go. Re, uh, reach out to them. I go here. Uh, waiting be the uh, best way. We would go follow up this matter. Mm. You hear? Okay, sir. I don't know the uh, it's all right. Thank you very much. Bye bye, Izzy. Thank you. Sir. Yes. If you day abroad, the number to call now zero nine zero eight one eight eight. Mm. Oh, sorry. Uh, yes, eight eight mm. eight nine mm. one zero mm. one one. Mm. If na Nigeria here you day, the number to call na zero nine zero nine nine eight eight seven seven zero zero. Hello, good morning. Good morning, my ordinary president. Yes. Sir. Um, now who I may am the Vano? Where are you the Vano from? Now, nah, owner oh, Emmanuel, I don't know from Benue State, sir. Okay, Emmanuel, how Benue State today? All oh, fine, sir. Okay, what thing be your contributor? I'll be that thing where they took you for Liverpool, man, man. Eh? Uh, that thing where they took me for Liverpool, man, they say, when I was small, I don't know what happens, but uh, my father was a policeman. So they dismissed him. According to what he told me, I didn't see any reason. That is why I say I will let you know if there is a way out for you to help me, sir. Your father is still there alive? Yes, I am there alive. Give him the phone, make me and I'm talk. Uh, I'm sorry, sir. I'm not with him, with him here, sir. Okay. Uh, anytime where you deal with him, make you give him phone, make I ask him some questions. All right, sir. I'm glad to do so. Thank you very much. You are a good, a, a good child. Thank you. <laughs> Hello, good morning. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Now, good morning, President. Uh, good morning, Jenna. Who me and I'm Devano? Where you Devano from? What do you be your country? Yeah, you are talking to the, you are talking to this one, this one, the robot. That's my robot. Belgium. Okay, that's my robot from Belgium. Yeah. Okay, how Belgium? My, my own. It's fine, sir. Mm -hmm. My dear president, mm -hmm. I'm very, very happy for what you are doing uh, for, the, uh, for the next village. Thank you, sir. We do. Uh, because, uh, yeah, because uh, there is no reason why I did that, where I cannot insult anybody. So they have to protect our interests. I don't understand what you talk. What I'm saying is that I said I like the way people are fighting for the next village. Okay. The worst of the worstless. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I'm very, very, very happy. So I just want to say, I just want to say thank you to your, to, to, to all your crew members. Thank you, sir. 
Then I kalama kalama da. What is her name? Madam Mandra. Madam Mandra. And the other people. All the rest of your members. Thank you so much. Thank you. I really, I really appreciate. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Hey, Belimbi. Hello, good morning. Okay. If you do Nigeria, the number to call now 090 99 Hello, good morning. Good morning, sir. Now, who me and I'm the Vano? Where are you the Vano from? My name is Papa Ali from, uh, calling me from Maraba. Your name is Okay, wait till be that thing where they check you for liver come, eh? Oh, no, no, my over is now be trying to get you, but thank God I finally get you. Okay, go, go straight to the point, sir. Yes, uh, my brother, we write uh, this thing uh, uh, about pension. Since how many, two, about three years now, we, when you are uh, uh, love FM, we write to you about pension. Mm. So my father, my father is a prisoner mm? from... Uh, my father is a principal from Indian local government. Mm. So we write to you over 10 years now for the gratuity and the rest. Nothing, nothing. We decide for it. How many years? Nothing. We write to you. We didn't have any response. Your your father work as a principal. He, he retired yes. as a principal. Which him be the name of the school where he retired from? St. Boniface Primary School. Okay. He retired as a principal. Yes. And over ten years ago, they did not pay him in pension. No pension, and he has already is late already. Oh, oh, may he so rest in peace. Mm. You get the death certificate. Hello. You get uh, our daddy de death certificate. Hello? Yes, everything is here. Who be the next of kin? The next of kin is a uh, Enefola, uh, Isa. Okay, now your junior brother have been your senior brother. My junior brother. Okay. You, yeah. go, you go send them come Abuja here. Make okay, it come sir. swear affidavit. Come with him. Uh, he's already swear affidavit. Everything is with him. Okay, to make it come now. Anytime okay. when he come, make you look for Akaramakala. Tell us okay. say nah, be a, da, da, uh, a late principal Peking. Where okay. he died ten years ago where they never pay all through the time when he he retire uh, for like 10 years, the no pay and pension and gratuity. Okay, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. God bless you, sir. Amen, and you too, sir. Thank you. Yes, sir. Yes, Thank sir. you. Sorry, oh, yes. sorry. Thank you. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning, Mr. Ordinary President. Now, who me and I'm Devano? Where are you Devano from? My name is Baba. Kura Muhammad. Okay, from where you did van off from um, and what him be your contributor? I'll be that thing where they took you for leave for my man. Yeah, I am calling from the United Arab Emirates. Okay, United Arab Emirates. Yeah, mm. and I would like to talk with you directly today. I have been one of the fanatical fans of the family almost for five years now. Yeah, thank you very much. Make you know the fanatical uh, just be uh, because fanatics, <laughs> fanatism. No. <laughs> uh -huh. With the kind of things that you do with the present, I really have to say this because mm. I feel like this is what we need now and people are in their need of space, I mean help. Yeah. Yeah. So in I always see how I can get away to see how I can also contribute yes, sir. my part um, to your movement. Yes, sir. So I really appreciate what you are doing and we always keep praying for you. Yes, sir. And also personally, materially, we will also support your move at any cost, inshallah. Thank you so much, sir. And personally, when I came to Nigeria, I would like to come to you personally. Okay. As well, I have some uh, NGO activities that we would like to do, especially for the, I mean, 
opens another less privilege in the northeast Nigeria. Okay, sir. So I would like to come and personally meet you where we can discuss. Okay, sir. And see how we can partner and all sort of issues. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, sir. I really appreciate Mr. President and may Allah protect you Amen. and continue and to all grant you more strength. Amen, all of us. But no call me Mr. President, call me ordinary president. There is only one Mr. President in the whole of Nigeria. All right, as you wish, as you wish, sir. Thank you. No put me for trouble. Ordinary president. Yeah, but yeah. for us, you are not ordinary, to be honest. Okay, so thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay, thank you so much. My regard to everyone in the family. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. They will hear. All right. Thank you. Okay, thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, make we come back to studios more, even though the phone they ring, but to make we come back to the studio. My brothers, my sister, we get uh, one uh, special guest for studio this morning, and this uh, special guest is uh, somebody where they represent uh, Nigeria's uh, constitution. Now, somebody will be say, now, authority in be for solving problems. In fact, uh, the uh, Public Complaints Commission, Naim be the only commission, to my knowledge where I know, my little knowledge where I get, we, when we say, um, it they instead uh, our constitution. Only Public Complaints Commission. All other commissions, then they, then they, we, then they recognized by authority but they know the inside Nigeria's constitution. So for you to talk, say, today, you wake up, say, you know, you know they do with public complaints commission again. You have to do constitutional amendment day. Now the only commission where I know, say, for you to remove them, you must do constitutional amendment. We will require the House of Representatives to sit down, Senate go sit down, even the executive go sit down to talk, say, eh, this time around, we no do with Public Complaints Commission. Now then, then they call Ombudsman. And the thing don't come along a very long, long, long time ago. Before the person go introduce himself, I go like make them read one letter. We, uh, the Vice President of the Federal, uh, Federal Republic of Nigeria uh, sent to, uh, to me through Human Rights Radio. Our own uh, barrister, she go read them now, when I go here. She go first of all introduce herself, and then she will now go here, the content of the letter where uh, the Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria uh, sent to the ordinary president through Human Rights Radio. Uh, my dear, what him be your name? Good morning, my ordinary president. Mm -hmm. Good morning, Brekete family. Mm -hmm. Good morning, Nigeria. Mm -hmm. My name is Barrister Ladi Ape. Mm -hmm. And the first letter in my hand here comes from House, State House, Abuja, Nigeria. Mm -hmm. And the letter is dated 31st August 2017. Mm -hmm. And it's addressed to ordinary president. Dr. Ahmed Insa, mm -hmm. Executive Media uh, Strategist, Human Rights Radio and Television, Abuja. Mm -hmm. Dear sir, re Mr. R Richard Klosa versus Al Haji Abdulaziz Yari Abubakar. Mm -hmm. I am directed by His Excellency Professor Yemi Osibanjo San, Vice President, Federal Republic of Nigeria to acknowledge the receipt of your letter dated 16th August 2017 on the above stated subject and to inform you that the issues raised therein are being accorded due consideration. Mm -hmm. Please accept the assurances of His Excellency, the Vice President's best wishes. Signed, Ade Ikpaye, Deputy Chief of Staff to the President, Office of the Vice President. Thank you very much. Make we clap for the vice president. At least uh, response don't come from uh, authority. Mr. Richard Closer, wait till you get to talk about this uh, letter now. Um, 
me, well, as you advised yesterday that mm. you received a letter mm. and I did not know the content. Mm -hmm. and, um, having passed seven months fighting for my justice, mm. you can imagine I have not slept, I have not eaten, I was just keen to know what is the content of the letter. Mm. Um, for me it is one sentence that is important. Mm. It is receiving due consideration. Mm. But what does that mean? Meaning, they don't, they don't work for background to okay. ensure, say, you get your money. Before now, any vice president been not write letter to, uh, uh, in respect to your matter? No, sir. Any government organization don't write this kind of letter to say they don't swing into action? I have not received any so, response. Uh -huh, it is a, a step in the right direction. Of course, sir. Please uh, don't, uh, don't quote me wrong. I'm, uh, I'm very happy for the fact that uh, the vice president himself mm. directed one of his staff to reply to your letter. Mm. Remember how happy I have been when you finally decided to write the letter. Now we got a response. Mm. Perfect. I'm happy. So make we give them like two weeks. Okay. If nothing happen, we go re write to them again. We go follow up the matter until you get justice by the grace of God. Thank you, sir. Support Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Those again saying to all, oh. the next have it. Now, the man where I've been, they try to introduce, he go introduce himself when I go here, waiting, waiting be in name, and uh, why the waiting and waiting in office, they, their office they do. Uh, Honorable sir, introduce yourself. Well, uh, I'm Danladi Esujin. Mm -hmm. I'm the Commissioner, Public Complaints Commission mm. in charge of the Federal Capital Territory. You're welcome, sir. Yes, thank For you. For the benefit of people where they li listen to the program, we don't know the function, the why uh, waiting and waiting Public Complaints Commission fit do for them. I beg, tell us a little about waiting and waiting and the kind cases where public complaints commission fit handle. Well, first of all, uh, I want to thank you, ordinary president. Yes, sir. And Barakete family. Yes, sir. For the job you have been doing here. Yes, sir. Uh, the thing be say anywhere that ordinary person can go to and have a say. That person is a God-fearing man, and you are working for the ordinary man. And let me tell you, mm. it's not ordinary man because our commission have seen a retired or a dismissed uh, assistant control that general of uh, prisons or custom will be coming back later. Mm. You don't see say the man a big man, mm. but as the water don't pass Gary mm. in Kong they come. Mm. So I want to correct one impression. It's not ordinary uh, citizens mm. that our commission deals with mm. or your program say is mm. helping. Mm. Uh, having said that, mm. the thing where they do in our place mm -hmm. is purely to handle administrative injustice. Mm. Example Make of administrative a injustice. Like say, you need promotion, they don't give you. Mm -hmm. Maybe one man they, they look you with one car, I don't like you. Mm -hmm. You go press because and Because of die. your tribal mark, because oh. of your religion, because uh, you, you, you not just like you your face. You don't feel as seeing your face. Mm -hmm. These are areas we dealt with. And, you know, it does not stop there. Whether the money matter or... <laughs> what of salary matter? Salary matter. <laughs> In fact, of any government work mm. and private company. We mm. don't only deal with government, but mm. private and government. Mm -hmm. There are some companies that uh, treat our citizens as if uh, you know be anything. Yes, yes. Tell them, say, government get a place where you will carry your complaint go. Yes. Uh, the only organization that we don't interfere is the military. The Nigerian army. Army, because mm. soldiers get their own way of uh, doing their things. Mm. And they have their laws guiding them. Mm. But every other section. Mm. What of police? 
police will they do with police matter? What of civil defense? Everything, every other thing. Yambanga. Immigration, custom, Yambanga. Mm -hmm. All. Okay. They do with their matter. Now only Nigeria army. Na Even only that Nigeria, Nigeria army. army, we go revisit and make them adjust that law mm -hmm. so that them too go they answerable mm -hmm. to the law. In fact, even the courts, if you are matter where they court, then they do a job in one kind. Mm -hmm. You don't understand. Yes. Well, oh, you can report even a judge. Of course. To public complaints commission. We go in there and find out why this delay of this matter. Hembe Lembe! I don't know this one. Mm. <laughs> carry on, carry on. So, carry on. Mm. And he be like, say some people don't know. Mm. This kind of working place not be place where be say where they make noise. Mm -hmm. But it's very important. Mm. This agency has been in existence for over 40 years. Mm. We have offices in all the 36 states of the Federation mm. and Abuja. Mm. Even in Abuja here, we have area offices mm. in all the area councils mm. in the Federal Capital Territory. Mm. Plus, we have opened another place in Karishi. So, anybody will get any matter concerning all these areas mm. I've mentioned. Mm. You day free, make you go there, go lodge in your complaint. Mm. And any complaint there, they will bring it to my office. Because anybody, all the staff, we have over 100 staff in Abuja mm -hmm. that are under me. We have lawyers, about mm. four or five. When they pay salary. We have directors who they pay. Okay, because they should pay, salary. pay salary before. They will report no, when no. I hear. No, 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 no. Uh -huh. The <laughs> salary matter will they pay up to date. Okay. We don't no. get problem. We go check out the we salary. Check mm. Yes. Mm. Okay. So, uh, anybody for studio here, we get the matter away. When I think say, na public complaints commission be the right organization. We go handle on a matter saying wow. Wow. Uh -huh. Again. Wow. Again. Wow. I mean, anybody work there for studio when we say in matter as uh, the honorable commissioner, public complaints commission, don't, uh, explain now. As we, when they listen to them now. Even members of the public will they listen. Some people they inside Araba, some inside they inside Kekena Pep, some they, they push their wheelbarrow they listen. Some they walk out they go. Some na get men them be. Now, if you know say you get matter where public complaints commission suppose entered into the matter. Say ma. Ah. Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> If we sure say na public complaints commission be the right organization we suppose handle the matter say wah 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 ah una plenty hambe lembe let we start with uh, the one we did for back uh, okay now una shout wah 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 pass <laughs> okay what him be your name uh, my name na Charles Obole. Charles Obole? Yes. Uh, what will be the complaint we carry on our come? Uh, we work with uh, Aramis Casino. Aramis Casino? Yes. And okay. he, he refused to pay us. Uh -huh. To the extent, he even went and locked us in uh, Use Police Station. So we were lucky the police they didn't detain us. What will be the reason why they will go lock on our for Use Police Station? Uh, we work for the casino. He's owing some people six months. He's mm -hmm. owing some people four months. Mm -hmm. And he's owing some people five months. What will be the owner, the name of the owner of the casino? Mr. Bioye. Mr. Bioye, Ayoku. Mr. Abioye. Ayoku. Naim get the casino. Naim the director of the owner Naim of the be the place. person where I called yesterday where... He did not pick. Uh, no, be say he no pick, but okay. say... Maybe he know they close to him phone, even though Unato say he know they pick in call. But... Uh, now in right for us to call and make we hear in own side of the story. And when I remember, say, the first time we will come, I talk, say, this matter, we, make we no talk and for radio. Yes, sir. Make we call them the organization because usually, because we know one 
something we go spoil existing relationships. We go try make we mediate so that at the end of the mediation, we na go carry on with the relationship. Yes, sir. I can't call somebody. Yes. Even though the person who I call, uh, some of the things with me and I'm discussed, he denied yesterday. Uh, be no be so. Now so, sir. And uh, even the time where he talks, say, make I give him, he denied. Yes, sir. So make we assume, say, na me they lie. Now, Una don't come now. And the public complaints, Honorable Commissioner, Public Complaints Commission, Commissioner in charge of FCT, don't day for studio. Yes, sir. But before Una go continue, okay. he get market where I won't enter. Make her enter. Chop bread, come back. I no go day. This na good news for you we like and sabi better things. Introducing Imperial Bakeries. Now we be the Obonga Bakery where they produce better hygienic products with better ingredients. We go make your body jolo. We get global approval from Standard Organization of Nigeria and NAFTA. We make them stamp us BAM as the bakery of choice for Abuja. Oh yes! Come make your own choice from our Imperial Bakery's family loaf, mini loaf, burger buns, cinnamon roll bread, fruit bread, coconut bread, wheat bread, cakes, sausage rolls, and the new Imperial Classic Bread, plus plenty other sweet and better products for you and your family. Oyana, do quick. Visit Imperial Bakery's office today for number 7, Cape Town Street, with season 4, Abuja. Make a call with numbers 0035-886-269 or 0033-546-206. Check with website www.imperialbakery.com. If na bread, na Imperial Bakery's. Una welcome back. What do you got? Hembe lembe. Una welcome back. So um, they go lock una for we say police station. Zone three. But una talk say even at the lock una, police can't do investigation. Can't confirm say na salary matter. Yes sir. They can't release una. Yes sir. How much you na pay to police before they release una? We didn't pay any money. Can I make we clap for Nigerian police? <laughs> New improved Nigerian police. Make we hear from the Honorable Commissioner, Public Complaints Commission. Uh, Honorable Commissioner. Yes. You hear say, these people allege say they work for one organization. Una get ID card to prove say una be staff of that place. Actually, you never give us ID card. So, when I just they work without ID card? Yeah, these are uniform. Okay, now, when I, when I, but when I get you uniform? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you very much. So, uh, uh, Honorable Commissioner, sir. Mm -hmm. I will ask them a few questions. Mm -hmm. And I get appointment letters. Yes. And I don't get. Yes, sir. For how many months or years you work there? The highest is six months. The one, the salary is only people is the highest is six months. So, so they owe some people six months. Yes, they are outside. How would I take agree? Mm -hmm. Say they go they pay with a salary. Like like me, I just started the work a month and so uh, the argument is every month ending. How much be uh, your salary? Concerning me is seventy thousand. Seventy thousand. Mm -hmm. What of you? How much? Seventy. Seventy thousand. Yes. Okay. How many months you don't work there? <coughs> me have worked for two and a half months. There are some that work for six months. They're outside. They're outside. What in the agreement with them? Mm -hmm. Say they go try and I'm mean, see what I'm going to do. Yes. Before yeah. they, mm. Okay, what we agreed on is that. No, could I give a microphone so that the thing will be clear? Because the place is a casino. Mm -hmm. So we work mostly where I work before the previous casino I work. Mm -hmm. They pay us on the 25th of every month. So this place, when we came, when I came in, our agreement is not a written agreement. So it's a verbal agreement. Mm -hmm. So the man promised that he's going to give us every day 11,000 naira for transport mm -hmm. out of the 70,000. Mm -hmm. Then at the end of the month, he's going to give us 44,000 naira because we agreed on each person is going to go for all four. Uh, one one day in a week. Mm -hmm. That is minus four, mm -hmm. which make the transport to uh, twenty twenty six thousand, mm -hmm. and the remaining salary is going to be forty four thousand. Mm -hmm. So as we were making money for the company, the man continued to promise us that. And good. they make money through through. If, even the last a uh, two days to this issue, mm -hmm. we make one point eight million naira in a for, night. For one night. Yes, in mm -hmm. a night. Mm -hmm. 
Then that time when we begin to agitate for our salary, mm -hmm. the man is ceased from coming to office. Mm -hmm. So we were only talking to the manager and the manager continued to beg us that. The man is saying he's going to pay us. So the last chance we gave them was that. That Wednesday, they say they are going to pay us. We came in, instead of paying us 44,000, he was giving us 36,000. Mm -hmm. And we now said, what is our offense? Tell us the reason why we are deducting this money. Mm -hmm. The man called one of the supervisors, mm -hmm. Madame Sarah. Mm -hmm. He said, if you are not collecting the salary, we should go, that we don't have anything to do. Mm -hmm. Then when I say we are not going to collect the money, mm -hmm. they should pay us. Mm -hmm. Even among the people that they owe six months, we even beg for one month so that we continue work. Mm -hmm. They refuse to pay in one month. Okay. That is the point. Thank you. Uh, Honorable Commissioner, over to you. Well, uh, what we'll do, mm -hmm. my staff are outside there. Mm -hmm. They will carry out some documentations about you, mm -hmm. and then we'll see what we'll, uh, Thank you what very we'll much. go about it. Yes. But I want to draw the attention of all Nigerians. Yes. If you are going into work with any organization, mm -hmm. government or private, mm -hmm. you should have some documentation. Thank you. You must have appointment letter. You must have some certain things. Mm. Because the man, apart from the uniform you are wearing, you don't have anything. The man may come up and say, and deny. I don't know you. Mm. Yes. Mm, OK. So. Thank you very much, Honorable Commissioner. We get another lady here. Uh, may I pass the microphone to her? Uh, Madam, what be your name? Good morning, my ordinary president. Yes, face the camera, dear. Yeah. Good morning, mm -hmm. fellow Nigerians. Mm -hmm. My name is Kika Paulin Danimim. Kika Paulin? Danimim. Danimim. Yes, sir. Which organization you do work with? Uh, uh, what can be your cry? I work with Nigerian Social Insurance Trust Fund, NSITF. NSITF? Yes, sir. Nigeria? Social Insurance Social Trust Social Insurance Fund. Trust fund. Yes, sir. Okay. What can be the complaint where we carry you come Human Rights Radio for the program bracket and family? My complaint is that I was given a termination letter. And in the termination letter, there was nothing stated that I did. Mm -hmm. So I immediately did a redress to the MD. Mm -hmm. This thing happened 2015. Mm -hmm. And I did a redress. 2015 September it happened, and I did a redress and submitted the letter October of that same year. Mm -hmm. And since then, I've not heard anything. Mm. I've been going to the office. Each time I get there, they will tell me, go and come back. It got to a time, let me, this year I went there March. They didn't even want to attend to me. I went back. After I stayed March, like two months, I was, I'd spent everything I came with. I had to go back again to Akwai Bomb State and, you know, regroup myself as in, for funds and other things. I mm. came back again three weeks ago. When I came, I went to the office thinking maybe I will be attended to. But at the gate, I was I was frustrated. As it was at that point, it, it was done on me that I should bring the matter to this place. How did you because, take here about this place in the first place? Yes, I was at the gate. I kept going. There is, I didn't know. I didn't know that there was a lady that was monitoring me, elderly woman. She just walked up to me and said, Madam, I, I they see you, they come here, they see you, they come here. What will be your matter? I now told her. She said, if they no agree, allow you enter. Carry this place, you know, no, no, Brekete. I said, I don't know. She said, there is a place called Brekete Family, and they look into matters like this. So I brought it. I came to this place. She was the one that even gave me 500 naira that day to pay transport to this place. The elderly woman. Yes, ma'am. May yes, God sir. bless her. Amen. May God bless her children. Amen. Thank you. So tell us the journey so far. I hear say this your problem start right from when you start work. Yes, where sir. one of your ogre won't sleep with you for office. Yes, sir. Tell us. Sir, the way the man, the way he started the matter was initially when we started work, I would go to the office. I normally go early and I will sign in. And people are like, you're begin you're doing too much. I okay. believe one thing that when you go, you sign the time before you, come you go. In. Nobody they signed any paper before. They were signing in and signing out. Mm -hmm. But when you get to the office, you sign the time you 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 get to the office. Mm -hmm. And they said that they don't do that like in that place. That mm -hmm. when I get there, I should sign so that other people will come in. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to accept that. I took I the don't matter understand to him. Sign. You go just you no go. Put the time so where you, you put enter. your time, mm -hmm. but they are like they said no, and I go. I took the matter to him. He didn't say anything. I didn't know that he's. I don't understand what you talk. 
Have you now understand? Yeah. You say everybody they sign. Everybody they sign. Uh -huh. So waiting the waiting be your own way you they do too much. Is it because you they come too early? I be you they write the time where you come and other. I they people write they the come time late? where I come and when I sign in, it have it's affecting them according to them. Why? I don't know. Because they come because they, because come, they come late. late yes. Now what do you go talk with this? So I they hear you. Uh huh. So uh, apart from uh, when I discussed that with them, he didn't say anything. Mm -hmm. That one is as I, dis I decide. Mm -hmm. We normally have meetings on Mondays mm -hmm. as a state office to put the place together. Mm -hmm. So on this fateful day, on the 8th of June, 2015, mm -hmm. I got to the office early, signed in, sat down, was waiting. How early did they reach office? At the reach office, sometimes 6, 18, sometimes 7 30, sometimes I need, I need to go late. Mm -hmm. I need to go late. So I got there, signed in, sat down, I was waiting for them. And our office, we have two wings one is the admin, the other one is the annex. And because we are much, some of us are in the annex office. Mm -hmm. so I was one of the staff that are in the annex office. Mm -hmm. And it's the way we do it that whenever it's meeting time, uh, one of the admin staff will come over and tell us it's meeting time, then we all roll our chairs. Distance day between this and the annex and the admin? No, too much. Just like from here to the lobby, as you're coming in from the passage. Sir. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Mm. So on that day, I was there and nobody came. Not only me, we were there mm. and nobody came. Mm. After a while, How somebody. How many on a day? We on a day that day. We're more than fifteen, sir. We on a day for that annex. Yes, sir. Okay. After a while, somebody said she has she got a, a text message that they've started meeting and the place is locked. And we're like, ah, ah, where is this one coming from? So we stood up, went to the door. Lo and behold, the place was locked and the meeting was on. So we stood outside. After a while, I went down because I don't want to be there and start, you know, joining them to talk. So I went down, me and one Mr. Okoko in Peke. So una, as soon as I go down, the, 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 the come call una, say, as soon as don't come now, make we na come join them for the meeting. I be till the end of the meeting. Me and the boy go down later. Then come open the door. But when they open the door, they no come call us. Mm -hmm. So when the meeting was finished, mm -hmm. I came in. When I when we came in, after like two hours, they brought a letter for me, memo that I should explain why I was not in the meeting. Mm -hmm. So I explained the letter. I wrote my part and apologized at the end. Where the memo did first of all, uh, blessing. Yes. Read the memo for me because we. Uh, Honorable Commissioner, have you not be so? Yes. Pass him across quickly, please. The Nigeria Social Insurance Trust Fund, Uyo Branch Office, mm. memo to Mrs. Kika Pauline Danimi, Branket Officer 1, through Branch Manager N. As ITF Uyo from Officer One Human Resources, date 18th June 2015. Subject Staff Meeting. It was observed that you were absent from the regular staff meeting scheduled for Monday by 9 a.m. Despite your having signed the attendance register, which indicates your presence in the office. Your action contravenes section 06, 06 subsection 3B of the staff condition of service in the on the issue of misconduct. Bracket disobedience of lawful official instruction. Your type your your type your typewriting representation should reach the undersigned within 48 hours, bracket 48 hours of receipt of saying, sign Mrs. Uko Onyimi. Thank you. Eden. You reply? Yes, the reply. Uh, Oman the gave, read the reply for the me. Reply the under. Memo to the branch manager from Mrs. Kiki Paulin Dunning, Officer 1, date 9th June 2015, subject, staff meeting. 
I agree that I came early to the office as stated in the memo on the 8th of June 2015, knowing that the Monday mornings are meeting days. Meeting days are times originally agreed by the office was Mondays 9 a.m., Fridays 2 a.m., and I have never been in the office premises without attending meetings. It appears that meetings no longer hold at 9 a.m. and most times change to 10 a.m. or 2 p.m. That gave birth to the admin coming to inform us when the manager is ready for meetings. On Monday 8th, June 2015, I was in the office with other staff waiting for admin to inform us as usual, only for one of us to receive a text from a staff that the other side that meeting had started and the others has been shut. So we all went to the door and saw truly that the, the door was shut against us without information from admin. As usual, and I saw as a punitive measure for not being in the meeting, so I went downstairs with Mr. Okoko to talk to one or two clients along Oron Road, only for me to get this memo today. I am surprised that the said staff, Mr. Okoko, was not issued this memo that is given to me. However, I am sorry for what my absence from the meeting has caused the office. Signed, Mrs. Kika Paulin Danim, Officer 1. Okay, collect the microphone. So, it means uh, now you and one man. Yes, sir. Even go down yes. to attend to some clients, yes, sir. but this same one man, they no give a memo. They did not give him the memo. They didn't give him memo. Okay. After this, uh, your reply. Waiting, come follow from your As I office. reply, mm -hmm. thinking say the matter don't end here. Mm -hmm. The next day, I got to the office. They gave me query. Query. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, Amanda, they read the query for me. To the branch manager, Nigerian Social Insurance Trust Fund, 202 Oron Road, Uyo, from Mrs. Kiki Paulin, Officer 1, date 10th June 2015, subject reply of query. I was given a memo on the 9th of June 2015, dated 8 June 2015, mm -hmm. subject staff meeting, which section 06 bracket 03B of the staff conditions of service was quoted. Disobedience of lawful official instructions. Photocopy of my reply is attached. Your paragraph two, your response to the memo dated 9th June had been analyzed and found unsatisfactory and full of allegations against the branch manager on behalf of whom the memo was issued. My reply, it will be satanic on my path as a subordinate to a consider to consider a memo from my boss, branch manager in bracket, who has never acted in this manner as pointless or obsolete. That was why I had to take time to explain in details what really transpired. Because from the memo I received, it appears that my boss, the branch manager, was not in the know that admin comes to the office to inform the staff at the annex whenever it's meeting time, mm. and not to lay allegations against my boss, the branch manager, mm. which is my me memo. I concluded by saying, however, I am sorry for whatever my absence has caused the office on the 8th of June 2015, mm. assumed allegations. Meeting no longer hold at 9 o'clock and 2 p.m. on Mondays and Fridays, respectively. Number one, my response. My response was that, that meeting no longer hold at 9 a.m. and most times change to 10 a.m. or 2 p.m., which gave birth to admin coming to the annex, annex office to inform the staff when the branch manager is ready for meeting. One of us in the annex, as stated earlier in my previous memo, received a text of the staff that was in the meeting. That meeting had started and the door has been shut even when admin did not inform us that it is meeting time. Mm -hmm. The locking of the office door during the meeting was a punitive measure meant to punish you. Number two, on your getting to the door, we found out that, the, that truly the door was shut against you. That was seen as punitive measures to punish us since we were not informed by admin as usual that meeting had started that you left the office with Mr. Okoko to attend 
to two clients at Oron Road and was surprised to receive a memo which bordered on absent from meeting while Mr. Koko Mpokia was not issued same. Number three, the said meeting that I was in the attendance with Mr. Koko Mpokia, which name was not added in my previous reply, which I was signed out for memo. After I have replied and submitted the memo, I called Mr. Koko Mpokia and explain to him the letter I received from admin, if he has received such a letter, since it was both of us that went out to talk to few employers. While the door was shut, his response was no, that he has not given, that he was not given such a letter that bothered me, that bothered me as a staff of the Nigerian Social Insurance Trust Fund, NSITF. And I felt in my low thinking that explanations should be made to my boss, who is the branch manager, in detail and not to lay allegations against the branch manager. Next paragraph. It was also observed that you claimed to be the, the annex office, to be in the annex office with the other staff while the meeting was going on and received a text message from a staff not identified that meeting was in progress and the door was shut, the door shut against latecomers. Number four, with due respect, sir, one of the staff in the annex, while we were still waiting for admin to inform us for meeting, which they did not, received a text message that meeting had started and the door has been shut. It was observed that when the door was opened to latecomers to join the meeting, your name was not on the attendance register. Number five, after waiting at the door, and some of the staff went back to the annex office. I felt it would be wise for me to use that time to go and spread the good news of the scheme, ECS, to few employers of labor along or on road, than staying back to complain, which will not fetch me anything good. There is no meeting in any organization that is not important to the staff at any time. So my not being in the meeting on Monday 8th June 2015 due to the failure of the admin coming to inform us as usual was not a pleasant experience. By the time I came back with the said staff, Mr. Okoko Mpuye, we were told that the door was later opened and the staff were asked to write their names on a separate list. At this time, the meeting had already been concluded. Administratively, I know that it is not right for me to put my name in the meeting that I did not attend, knowing that if my boss, the branch manager, gets to know that I went to put down my name in the attendance list in, in the meeting that I was absent because the admin did not inform the staff at the annex office as usual, will be an offense on my path, which led to the shutting of the door. I have never received in my mind or put in writing in any form to make claims from the first memo given to me, but concluded by apologizing and will repeat the same apology to show that I am justifying myself, but only explain to make my boss, who is the branch manager, understand detail what really transpired. However, I am sorry for whatever my absence from the meeting held on the 8th of June 2015 must have caused the office. Signed, Mrs. Kike Pauline Danime, Officer 1. Okay, uh, hey, madam, collect microphone quickly, save, save our time. So, after this one, what thing can happen again? After I submitted this letter, mm. The third day, he gave me warning letter. Warning letter. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. You you've been done the day absent for meeting before. No, not at all. Now the first time where you yes, sir. you where, where this thing happened. Be yes, this. sir. Yes, sir. And uh, as a result of say the admin officer where they usually come inform on no come inform on Yes, sir. First time. Yes, you are sir. Sure? First, first time. Okay, so uh -huh. so you come receive a warning letter. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Where the warning letter? They quickly. I'm um, Oman um, Dave. You go leave address. Just go straight to the content of the warning letter because time don't go. Subject warning letter. Your letter reference NIS, NSITF 
AE 819. Okay. The references. I wish to emphatically and categorically note that this warning letter is totally unacceptable and undeserved. No, this is her response. Yeah. We hear her own, the warning letter where they give you. Maybe we could do another matter. It, it seems uh, she's not prepared. Maybe she didn't have us. But uh, you for don't uh, pre prepare your documents properly before you enter studio. Okay. Well, uh... no, no, I won't make we get to the bottom of the matter. Okay, while she, the, she they look for the warning letter, read the reply where she replied. Yeah, I wish to emphatically and categorically note that this warning letter is totally unacceptable and undeserved. I am completely shocked that despite the apologies rendered, the writer claims it seems not remorseful. I am aware that the remorse is a show of emotion, but true response and apology is what actually produces results. This is what the office should seek for in official setting rather than expect people to come crawling and crying, which is remorseful show of emotions. Number two, if you, if you took time to analyze my response like you claim, you will know that every staff is leaving proof of colossal evidence that meetings were held irregularly as announced by the whims and caprices of admin staff. Number three, the memo and query could not could not have emanated from the office of the branch manager because I wonder why the branch manager will endorse a letter emanating from him but allow it to be signed for him on his behalf. The letter should have a spelled out cat categorically as originating from Mrs. Uko Uyeme Idem, USF, the branch manager. It is, however, unprofessional for a staff to originate a letter and put for branch manager and also UFS. The branch manager, this is duplicity. Number four, I write to correct the fact that the query raised was a case of foul language, insubordination, or rudeness. The writer should have been specific on which of the issues of misconduct on section 06, subsection 03B was contravened and should have been avoided semantic distortions by making it sound like it was a case of foul language, insubordination, or rudeness. Be guided accordingly, Mrs. Uko Uyema Idem. I also expect that the branch manager, if he gave authority to this letter to be written, should be meticulous enough to identify issues that are ultra vice, such as captured in point four. I also wish to warn that I will not accept libelous write-up against my person or character, else I will be forced to take, I will be forced to make my case known to public complaints commission. There was no case of foul language, insubordination, rudeness, and disobedience of lawful official instructions. This is simply as a case of my being locked out of official meeting, for which I expect an apology for depriving me of attendance. This is why I see my look, being locked out of the meeting as punitive and depriving. Signed, Mrs. Kiki Pauline, Officer 1. Okay, madam. Um, collect microphone. You talk, say, this officer in question, this your organ, raise the microphone and save my time. Yes, sir. You talk, say, um, you get one time where your husband traveled to uh, Nairobi. Nairobi. Yes, sir. And this your organ trace your house, come to your house. Yes, sir. Around which time? Around after 9 to 10, sir. In the morning, I'll be in, in the, the night. In the, in the night. night, I had already gone to bed. Uh, my phone rang. Okay. So when I picked the phone, he said, uh, "Danny," because everybody calls. Some people call me Danny. Some people call me Kika mm -hmm. So he said, "Danny." I said, "Sir." He said, "I'm in front of your house." I said, "Okay." I just ran out of the room, you know, to the um, sitting room and opened the door for him. 
And I told him as he was coming in, I told him maybe we'll just stand at the lobby, we'll talk. He just walked majestically into the sitting room and sat down. And after a while, I came out and sat too. I was looking at him, he was looking at me. After some time, he now stood up, okay, I want to go, and he, he left. Okay, Mazi Chuku Machizorom, he said, make the woman stand up small, make we see whether in a package they cause this wahala. Make we, I shall be where this matter they go. Madam, stand up. Madam, stand up. Okay, okay, so sit down. So, um, finally, you get with him to talk because the Honorable Commissioner, I want you to come out into this matter and we go open telephone line for members of the public. Uh, what I want to say is that I want my job back, that you people should please help me. Okay. What can you deduce out of the whole thing? What can you think, say, be the, the cause of all these things? In your own opinion? Me, uh, within me, I know that maybe it's because the guy wants me and I'm trying to do as if I don't notice what he's doing. Mm -hmm. That's why all this wala is coming to Okay. Me. Honorable Commissioner, sir, over to you. Madam, I have some few questions for you. Mm -hmm. How did your uh, You're gonna drop this microphone down boss so that she get goes. to know your house? Uh -huh. How did he you get your address? Get to there was a time in the office we were in a meeting and he said he wants everybody to put their names down and their addresses. Everybody put their own down. I refused to put my own down. And I don't know how I got to know that I refused to put my own down. So when another time when we all sat down in a meeting. Put your address. Your name and your address, mm -hmm. where you live, your phone number. Mm -hmm. That you, that they, I don't know who went to tell him that I didn't put my own down. You dropped the microphone. So down. when we now had another meeting, he now said anybody that has not done that should quickly do that. Mm -hmm. That he wants to be visiting everybody. Mm -hmm. So they came to me. He no know say you be married woman. He knows. He knows. He knows, he knows. your husband. He knows that my husband is 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 he are married. He knows. He knows that I have a child too. And he knows say that time when he, he visit you. Your husband is aware that my husband is not around. Mm -hmm. How did he How know? He know. He know. How he take no? I didn't know that your husband is out of the country. Okay. Mm -hmm. There was a day when the office working, we're putting chairs together because the the head office brought in some chairs and table. Mm -hmm. We're working and we walk even to the point that in, after four we were still in the office, and my phone rang. My husband was away. My phone rang, and I needed to call him back. I don't have any time to call. So as my boss, I run to him. I say, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. That was Should how. You? Yes. So you tell, you borrow your boss phone. Yes. You go tell us waiting day between you and this man before we mm. quarrel. Something there between you and um, before we quarrel. We don't, nothing there. It's just that. How you go come collect your phone for your boss, hand? Mm. Why don't you see any of your colleagues? Uh, uh, no colleagues. Everybody has gone, sir. Only you and him. Only you and him. Only you and him. Me and uh, the security people uh, that were there. Are you working with him directly? Oh. I'm not working with him directly. And you tell you talk say weekends like this. If they tell you say make you come office, me kuna pray. No, it's when there was a time I was on leave. And he said I should come to the office to join them to pray. So I told my husband, my husband, I said, don't go. That this man is beginning to, I don't like the way this man is doing. He's liking you. Me and my heart is, was open. I never expected anything. So you I even pleaded with you my, close your heart now. I, even, I even pleaded with my husband for me to go. And I went, came back. Because you did enjoy the outing. Uh, Madam, how many staff in that organization? Approximately, I didn't say. We're quite. over 50, sir. 50. How many women? You're not the only one. At all. You have been invited for prayers and the rest of them. Well, uh, ordinary president, yes, I sir. want to say that uh, the office is at Ewo. Uh, yes, sir. You see, 
if we are to handle this case, yes, sir. you have to complain from where the matter is from. Okay. We have Honorable Commissioner that is in charge of Aquaibon State. But now, you yes. with the studio, yes. you will champion this complaint yes. for, uh, 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 on her behalf because she is helpless. We will go out of the studio. Mm -hmm. My staff are there in their numbers to handle all this, and then I will see what we can do about it. Thank you very much. Please, uh, uh, um, my my Honorable yes. President, mm -hmm. I make I for us again, this kind of matter on the duam, because this harassment in public and private uh, okay, government organization, especially, my Honorable President, is in the increase. Mm -hmm. Married men, sorry with due respect to some of them, go they harass some young women when they married. Mm -hmm. And if you not do a victimization, promotion no go come your way. Small, small thing for office no go come your way. It's becoming alarming. Okay, Madam Jemai, your mother they do more we do. <laughs> Honestly, it seems they're very bad and annoying, and mm. it's part of the challenges that women are facing in offices. So, I happy say the Honorable Commissioner at this studio made them look this thing very well because even some women they meet Outside their upper. Outside, I get I they talk mm -hmm. from at the ordinary president. I see, say she get case, go a very good case. Me, I they think say na victimization be this. But Honorable Commissioner, talk your own make we hear. You see, she has a very good case. Mm. You know, in our commission, we operate within the ambit of the law. Mm -hmm. So we have to investigate it. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. Let me we'll this man's name. This man where they victimize Mr. Emago Abraham Onoriedi. Mr. Emago Abraham Onoriedi. Okay. Let him be in position. He was the branch, branch manager thing. Okay. Please, we'll take it from there. Okay. Yes. Okay. Hello, good morning. Oh, sorry. Good morning, sir. Yeah, yeah. Now, who me and I'm the Vano? Where is the Vano from? My name is Idi Alena, the Vano from Central. Okay. Where can be your contributor there, quickly? Uh, my other, I guess, more uh, uh, observation. Mm -hmm. The other day, I did go home for Banes. Mm. He gave one boy, all those boys with the banners to hawk. Mm. One of the boys, I don't know what he bring call The other one run to go call and say, one passenger, no drink about money. I see the wrong come. Naimo to carry this boy, where you walk cross road. Mm. So the boy, for that point, that place, the boy, in chances of surviving, only called hand in day. Mm. So that boy went on go call him. The other group called face the boy, then beat this, this boy get. So what is that the title in this That banner, several times I don't come there, I see boys and they gather people. They beat person, even to the point of death. So I I won't contribute to say if they get it, he will wait for this and feed the state banners. Every day, several I don't come. You know that will not be one location, not two days. I don't see that kind of thing for that banner. That one, if you pull much for that matter, that day they nearly won't beat me because I won't pull much. Yeah, but why did they beat like this. Uh, today they nearly beat me, I run. I enter moto. Oh, you run? Mm -hmm. I run. I'm mean, not beat me, kill me. Okay. Okay. Madam, the so, mayor of the FCT call center don't hear this one, and uh, okay. she will lie with the uh, appropriate authority. Thank you. Okay. God bless you, man. Amen. Amen. Thank yes, you. Yes. yes uh, telephone, um, the telephone number to call now is 090 99 8 8 
want to go office, he, the man who weighed the level eight, the man will give you four thousand. The person weighed the level seven, he will give you ten thousand. Even some mm -hmm. guys, he will give you anything. Okay, thank you. Because if you will say anything happen. Thank you very much. Thank you very and much. Maybe you are that matter. You say serious matter. Okay, thank you. We go invite the honourable commissioner and make a come back tomorrow. Yes, sir. Make we continue. Thank you, sir. Thank you, support I... make commissioner come back tomorrow. Say no. <laughs> Everybody, <laughs> 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 Mama, now where you the carry table go so? I just want you to understand that. Check 